Queens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Today we're bringing you an assortment of colorful craft kits. They're so colorful that they can barely compete with my sister's language. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> See what I have to deal with on a daily basis? Not on a daily basis, like once every three weeks, calm down. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, joining me today is my sister Sika. Yo. <laughs> So as mentioned, we're going to be showing you grains three craft kits that are really colorful. They caught our attention because they're rainbow. Why are you laughing? Because they're as colorful as I am apparently. Mm-hmm. That's my language. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gonna hurt my neck. Can you grains do this? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> You can find all these craft kits on either Amazon, Toys R Us, and one of them even at the dollar store. The first kit is called Gomi Blazelets. It's not even us Englishing wrong, it's, it's called, called Blazelets. <laughs> and I'm really excited about this one because it really feels like it could be really fun and it could also be full of salt. <laughs> which makes me oh so happy if it's full of salt. It probably will be. Most kits are. Probably. But I mean, speaking of salt, the next kit is Crayola. Mm -mm. Also known as Crapola. But this one here is a color spin off. I remember having a Spirograph kit when I was a little gray. Yeah, I remember that too. So I'm really curious about this one because it looks like it's a machine spin. Yeah. So let's see how that one is. And last but not least, this kit was sent to me by Pound Key here on YouTube, who loves to spoil me with extra craft kits. And this one also apparently you can find at the dollar store here in Canada. And from what it looks like is we can wrap sculptures? Yeah, with skins. And we have apparently 30 skins to choose from. So I'm really excited to see if it works and whether or not we can wrap my own sculptures. Oh, that, that could be very interesting. Let us know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on? I would have to say for me, it's probably the Crayola one. Oh, you're getting salty with Crayola already. Mm-hmm. I'd have to say it's probably the last one, the graph skin one. I don't think it's gonna suction pop really. Guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> Our first victim, I mean kit, is Gomi Blazelets. What are you eating? Um, stale Twizzlers. Where'd you get stale Twizzlers? From your cupboard? <laughs> Why do I have Twizzlers? Because I probably bought them like a year ago and forgot about them. Mm. And now they're really hard. And I don't eat really desserts, so. It's like... <sighs> I just got goosebumps, don't do that. <laughs> so this kit costs $30 US, or in Canada, that's $40. $40. So I have high expectations for this one. It really does look interesting because it says that the steps are very easy and straightforward, which is... Fill it, soak it in water, and then you'll wear it. One of the things that bothers me is if we look in the back of the box, it looks like these bracelets are photoshopped. Hmm. So I'm really curious. That's never good when they photoshop <laughs> things in. It's, that means it's gonna fail. Most likely. I'm pretty worried about that. But for $40 Canadian, this has to perform. Are you okay? I don't believe in it. Are you exhaling salt? Yeah. Let's do it together. <sighs> I have to say though, I really love the font on the word gummy. <laughs> it is gummy. It's cute. All right. Let's see. No. No? For those of you new to this uh, channel. <laughs> like we don't get to see what's inside yet? <laughs> no. Don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. And while you're there, make sure you click on all notifications. Do I get a sharp pointy thing? You know what? If you can say it, well. <laughs> sharp pointy thing? <laughs> sure. Okay, thank you. Now wave it. <laughs> now it's time to see what we get inside. What we get inside a plastic case that we can dunk to make our bracelet bra blazelets. Sorry, they're called BMs. Yeah, they're actually called BMs. In the instruction sheet, which we're getting ahead of ourselves, they refer to it constantly as BM. Yeah. Do the BM. And we're like, what's the BM? And then a few steps later, they call it the blazelet maker. So they should have said that before calling it BM. I was just like, what bowel movement? Like, no, but for real. <laughs> That's true. We also get five colors of the Blazelet Makers. Yellow, purple, green, pink, and white. The green is so gross that even on their box, you can see it's way darker on their actual box than this thing. Look at that. This is our BM. <laughs> mold and this thing here is to push it out of the mold. We also get a bag of glitter, a brush for the glitter, and one dispenser for the colors. So they're not even giving us a dispenser for each color at $40, but they're giving us one dispenser for five, which means that every time I want to change a color, I have to empty this out or pour a little tiny bit and then change it. This is when you know a company is cheap. 
And on top of all of it, we can only make five bracelets. So we get five clasps, five strings, and that's how we can make us bracelets. So for $40 Canadian, we're getting five blazelets, which means each one is $8. I can make a lot nicer for $8. <laughs> you sound so upset. I am. So yeah, pretty much think of each one that we're making is $8. Keep that in mind for when we actually start making it. Is it going to be cute? I don't know. Is it going to fail? I don't know. Is it going to be easy to break? I said I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> So according to the instructions, the first thing that we need to do is fill this bottom part here with water. You're kidding, right? Go get some water! Why am I always the gopher? I'm the boss! Wanna see something colorful? No! Oh! Wow! The language on this thing! I'm still the boss though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we have our water, the question is what color do we want our bracelet to be? I think I'm gonna go with purple and green. Ninja Turtles? Sure. Maybe another color. What colors do you want? I wanted to do like pink, purple, and white. Okay, so we'll do one that is a threesome. <laughs> go on. And then we'll have one that's just a duo. Got it. <laughs> let's, let's start with purple. See, I don't even know how much I need. Let's try the dispenser first. Yeah, let's see if it even works. Oh, it looks so weird. It looks like granulated sugar. I wonder if it's gonna clump. That's what I'm curious about is how much... Oh, oh. my god. Do we fill it to the top? Um... Oh, the wait. Say? We didn't put the, the string in. Oh. I made you responsible! Hey, I didn't know what you were gonna do. Oh, weird. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it! <laughs> All right, let me empty this and we're gonna put our string. <laughs> so in reality, the first thing we have to do is put these little claspy things onto the string before putting the string into the mold. So that's the first step. How you doing there, Sika? Doing good. Can't believe we're, we forgot our first step. We forgot our first step? Hey, if you I made you read. If you weren't getting phone calls, I'm a busy person. I wouldn't have been distracted. I'm a very busy person. Sounds like a personal problem. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? It's called sister love. Does she even love me? Depends on the days. And now all we have to do is put the string through the mold maker and wrap, wrap each end. end. There, I think. You got it? Mm, no! Okay, here. There. You got it? I think so. Like, how loose is it supposed to be in there? It doesn't show us. Alright, so we did it as tightly as possible. Alright, and now we can finally use the dispenser to put in the our powder. granules. Granules. I feel like the dispenser is not that great because... I feel like it would be better if we just poured it out of the package. Look at that. Dispenser does not want to dispense. It has no precision. Whatsoever. Yeah. I might as well just pour it from the pack, to be honest, at this point. It's going everywhere. Everywhere! Not great, but it's better. Okay, I just got a flash what this reminds me of. You ready for this? What is it? You know those make your own bouncy ball kits? I've never seen those, but go on. Okay, so in one of Guava Poop's kits, there was these little granules that you could make your own bouncy, bouncy ball. ball. And this is exactly it, where you put them all inside a little container, and then you put that container underwater. My guess, this is made of the same exact material. material. Did it work? Not very well. And then it hardened so badly 24 hours later. That's what this reminds me of. But so far, we do have our granules all put in there, and we're going to close it up with this. Yep. That way? Yes. Like so? Yep. Let's get excess stuff out of the way. Yeah, and now you have to hold it under the water for two minutes. I don't know why I feel guilty holding it underwater. What did no. you call me? What did you call me? So now we just need to take it out of the water, open it to check if it needs any adjustments or extra powders anywhere, and no. It looks like we filled it up pretty well. And we just have to leave it dry for three minutes. All right, so it has been three minutes. Now we need to put this little ribbon right on top. And my guess is because it's probably sticky and they don't want the sticky part to touch the skin. To touch, yeah, pretty much. So we just have to run it through like a so. Pretty and now sure we can I missed the whole part. Oh, good. Oh, good God. job. Oh, good. Good job. Oh, good. You wanted to say, oh, God. <laughs> oh, good. The English today is uh, brought to you by no one. <laughs> No one can English. <laughs> no one can English. All right, so we're unhooking these, removing the bottom part. Oof. There. That's sticky. Mm -hmm. I need to gently push it out with this pusher thingy. And it says gently. Be gentle. I know you're not gentle. I know you're not gentle <laughs> baking. Okay, hang on. I'm very gentle. Oh my gosh, is it so sticky it won't come out? I think it's stuck. No, no, it's coming out. Coming out. <laughs> oh. 
There, see? It looks so weird. I'm sure it's a bouncy ball. Do you want to bounce it on the floor and see if it works? Yeah, when it dries, let's try to bounce it. There we go. So while Sika is preparing her own bracelet, the brush here is not really a brush. It feels pretty much like felt. So we're going to put some of the glitter on there and spread that stuff right onto our bracelet. I'm trying to get as much of it on there. Oh, oh no. It has like no control whatsoever. So I'm going to finish putting the glitter right on top and then we have to wait how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes before it can fully dry, before we can wear the bracelet. All right, just to prove a point, I know my crap kits. They give me crap kit trauma that sometimes I get nightmares from them. I actually held on to one of the crap kits ball maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove a point that this kit to make gummy bracelets is nothing more than bouncy ball pellet material. Did they even bounce or no? They bounced poorly, but okay. they did bounce. So. I'm going to create a bouncy ball using all the remainder of the pellets that we have and we'll see what we get. I don't even know why you kept that. I thought I could make bath bombs with it. You're such a hoarder. <laughs> Crafters are not hoarders because we never know when we're gonna need the material, right? Let me know in the comment section below if you keep things just in case you need them. You don't do that? No. Crafters, let me know in the comment section below. So all I did was pretty much empty all of the packets of those little fake gummy things. And as per the instructions, I put them underwater and now we wait. So this thing doesn't even give us enough material to fill a bouncy ball mold. And just to be clear, a bouncy ball mold kit is about $1. So they don't give us enough material worth $1. So we're going to try and put it into a mystery gacha ball machine and see if that works. All right, so as I wanted to prove, here is the half bouncy ball, because again, they only gave us enough material not for a full bouncy ball, which means the items in there don't cost a dollar. I tried to make one and it turned out really garbagey. One, my clasp broke off, and two, it was still powder at the bottom when I took it out of the mold, which is kind of stupid because so, the top was jellified. Which means that every single mistake costs you $8. $8. But here's our half bouncy ball material because I want to prove that their material is bouncy ball. This confirms. Not just is this bouncy ball material and not just that these gummy bracelets are pretty subpar. For $8 I have to each. Like glitter on my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it also proves to us that this gummy blazelets kit is nothing short of theft. Oh, high five. Look at us. <laughs> We're twinning again. <laughs> so we would definitely not recommend this kit because this one belongs straight in the trash. I'm still pretty genuinely angry. Like I am so full of salt that I feel like I need to cough it out. Cough it out. Hang on, salt. <laughs> Let's go. I don't even have the energy to do anything else. Like it's just, oh. that thing drained me. Honestly, if you see this kit, avoid it like the plague. Well, actually, <laughs> avoid it like the corona. <laughs> I knew that was coming out. <laughs> Our next kit is Crayola Color Spin Out. Suddenly, I'm looking at Crayola with a lot of hope. Yeah, same! <laughs> I really hope this kit is going to perform as well as it looks because it does look like it's mandala type of effect that could be fun and relaxing to color. So let's hope it does work the way it promises that it would. Fingers crossed we don't go crazy from it. Just leave the things in the trash. Leave them in the trash! They do not come back out of the trash. So for $15 with the amount of beautiful colors on there, the back of the box does look like it promises the colors of the rainbow. So six markers. Let's hope we get nice colors. I do hope we do get nice colors because I can use some colors on my life right now. Yep. Which means time to see what we get inside. <laughs> to throw it behind you. No. Oh. What if I don't want to throw it behind me? What if I want to just. <laughs> Are you scared now? No. Fear me! I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. The little spinny machine that not just can you adjust based on the markings over here, but also you can change the angle to make different patterns. I realized right away that as soon as I put on the desk, doesn't it doesn't move. move. You gotta stop doing this. <laughs> Because they have rubber legs at the bottom, it makes it so that it is slip free, which is really good design. We have six colors. We actually get the colors that were on the box. We get 40 sheets of rounded paper that's made for the machine, but they were nice enough to give us a template. 
template, exactly. So you don't throw this out and you can use any paper they say. Yeah, which is really thoughtful. Instead of having to buy the specific paper that fits in it. Yeah, thank you so much for being thoughtful. For once. Thank you, Crayola, for once. <laughs> the other thing that really caught us off guard and we are very impressed with is this instructional booklet that gives you patterns you can make. Yeah, I'm going to show you grains now so you can see on screen all the different kinds of patterns with the different degrees, the different holes that you have to put your markers in. This is really useful and really neat. A glossary like this, or I guess you can call it an index, is really fun because they have everything from beginner to intermediate and even advanced pattern designs. That's so cool. Kudos to you, Crayola. So far, so good. This is really good. So for about 50 dollars US which is what like 20 bucks Canadian yeah it was 20 dollars Canadian yeah so. not bad at all so far don't get your hopes up look at me look at me I'm still skeptical <laughs> all right so before we begin we're going to be swatching why are you sniffing your crayon okay look Crayola made scented markers they gave me an unhealthy obsession with wanting to sniff everything hey it doesn't smell like anything that's what I thought thought it would smell like grapes Grappes. Grappes. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and swatch the colors just to have an idea if they're juicy enough. Here's purple. Oh, that, that juicy. sounds juicy. Blue. Also very juicy. I like how you're just giving me the markers open. You are so perfect. Red. Orange. Orange. Oh, I love orange so much. You know, you just gave me all of the Ninja Turtle colors. And now the green turtle. Well, the turtles are green is what I mean. The green turtle. Green. Greenest. Yellow. <laughs> So the colors are really vibrant, absolutely pretty. It's nothing less than what I would have expected in terms of Crayola because their specialty really are pretty much markers. So thank you for keeping that part of your company still true. So we're just going to slide the piece of paper underneath the marker things. Eh, there, beautiful. So for the first design, we're looking at the instructional sheet and here it says 1N 2G at 30 degrees will give us this kind of starry shape. And if we look at the machine itself, here has number two, here has number one. So number one is at N, number two is at G, and then we have to change the shifting thing to 30 degrees, which is right here. So in all theory, you just have to put your marker right in the middle, I believe. I don't know if it's supposed to click. And as soon as we turn the swivel, we should get this shape over here. Sika, you want to turn the swivel? Sure. All right, go for it. Huh. Oh, hang on, we didn't push it in then. Hold on. I feel like we're gonna break the tip. We're gonna break the tip. All right, we checked again, and yes, it does seem like it's in properly, so try to go smoother. It's not going... Why? Why? Try the other way. What's going on? Hang on, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Maybe we have to hold it. No, I don't think so. That would defeat the purpose. So we decided to start over by putting the marker in first, putting these little marky things inside and now we're going to twist and see if it works there we go so the idea is to make sure that you put the marker first and then put it into the contraption and here's our shape let's go for intermediate you can always tell when Sika's excited when she's standing <laughs> so we're going to be doing this design so the idea is not that we're coloring with two markers at the same time but instead what we're doing is we're doing the same hole for the marker but two different designs that are overlapping with each other in this case we have 20 degree 1 j 2 a which we've set up and now we're going to do the twirlies Ooh. And you can see if you leave your marker for too long, it's going to start bleeding. But I love this splatter effect. Next marker, let's take another color. And what we need is 50 degrees. 50 degrees. 1N, 2G. All right, and time for twillies. That's cool. There we go. And here's our design that we can color. I love this design because it kind of looks like, like a sun. Yeah, I was gonna say almost like a planet with a halo around it too. So yeah, so far so good. Do you want to color? So Sika is pretty comfortable coloring. It's good to keep kids occupied. Hey, <laughs> I can still hear you. I dig it. But what I noticed when I'm looking at the more advanced ones is suddenly I see 4K. What is 4K? Because so far we only have one, two, but then I noticed four is down here and three is up here. So we technically have more angles to work with in order to clip our little things here. 
you can definitely experiment by having much wider designs. So this is this is really, really interesting and very well thought out. So I'm going to go ahead and try a design with three markers at the same time because I'm really interested. So here I have three markers in. I didn't want them to touch the bottom because I didn't want them to bleed a little too thick. You're very interested. Yeah. Did you show them your drawing? Look, it's my drawing. <laughs> what was your experience coloring it in? It was really soothing. I actually tuned out my sister by accident. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I'm used to being zoned out. I'm sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Come on, it's gonna bleed. I'm holding it up. Okay, good. All right, so let's see what three <laughs> markers look at the same time. And I did a random design. One of them's not in, the blue one. I think you can't do them all at the same time. It said you can do all three. Maybe not on the design you want to do? Because it says, create with three markers at once. Hmm. So we should be able to do this. But maybe it has to be at a certain angle for all three of them to touch. You're not wrong. All right, so we decided to do this one here both at the same angle, so we should have six different colors. So now there's no excuse for them not to touch. Is it working? Two of them are. Which one's not touching now? Purple. Purple. There you go. There we go. Oh. Don't touch it. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't mind the bleeding. This is the other side of the sheet. Oh, sorry, that was your head. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Go for it. Is anything coming up? Green and orange and yellow a little bit. I think yellow is just faint. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah, now we're getting yellow. And here it is. And this is what it's supposed to look like down here. It's pretty similar. It's actually quite similar. The only thing is, if you put all three colors at the same time, sometimes they won't be leveled. leveled. Yeah, that, that's exactly the word I was looking for. So what ends up happening is one of your colors just won't show up, which kind of defeats the purpose of three at once. Three at once. However, it's not something you can't work around. And so, did this kit work? Yes. Did it keep us entertained? Yes. Did they give good instructions? Yes. Are sometimes some things a little faulty? Yeah. But did it stop our experience? No. Was the coloring of Sika's drawing over here relaxing for her? Very. <laughs> Are we able to get different results trying different experimentations? Definitely. And with the amount of angles that we have and all the different sides that people can place the little pegs into, this is definitely something that can keep you entertained for a really long time. Definitely. And you can use it more than once and they even give you a template so you can recut out some papers if you don't have any left. And it's only $20. So for something that's $20 and it can keep you busy for quite some time, totally worth it in my opinion. The only thing I would say is make sure you have colored pencils to have more coloring options mm. because these markers, you only get six. Yeah, but you can buy the brand, I think they're called Pipsqueaks, and you would be able to get more, more colors if you would like. So for us, this kit is yeah. worth yeah. your yeah. cash. Our next kit is Graphic Skins with a Z for you Americans and a Z for us Canadians. So this kit boasts that we can customize and create like never, never before. before. With activation suction. <laughs> Pretty much this kit is supposed to be a vacuum. We can customize models by making them this really cool kind of suction chamber where the skins hold on to the figures, which in my opinion sounds really cool. It sounds cool. Question is, does it work? That's what we're here for. Of course, something like this, even though Pound Key sent this to me, so thank you so much my little grains who send me craft kits. But remember, the whole point of me reviewing craft kits is so that I waste my money and you don't. <laughs> This here, it doesn't have any batteries included, so I'm ready. I got some batteries. How long have they been charging for? They've been charging for the last three hours? Okay, they should be fine then. They should be okay. <laughs> Watch it like fail on us. No. Like, <laughs> no, no, they've been charging for the last three hours. We're good. Okay. And as you can see, there's about 30 different skin transfers that we can get. I really hope it works with their own design because if it does, I wanna try it with one of my sculptures. Maybe not right away, because I'm not sure I have a sculpture that I could sacrifice, but I would still like to try it. Let us know in the comment section below, do you think it's going to work or is it going to be? That was terrible, was the first one we did? I hope not. Even though this is now at the dollar store, the Dollarama here in Canada, I hope it works. That'd be cool. So let's give it a try. But before we do that, we have to see what we get inside. You said nothing! That was really close to my face. Sorry. 
here's what we get inside. We get the machine which I assembled that does take four batteries. One of the weird things about this machine is I thought it would be enclosed inside a kind of like a jar or a plastic container, but no, it's actually immediately in a bag and that bag is attached to the top and there's a little button and in the back we can see that there's like a this... vacuum seal? A what? Like a vacuum seal thingy? I guess it has a little tube for the vacuum. It's a vacuum. <laughs> it's a vacuum tube. <laughs> and it also has a little reservoir for water because we're going to be using water which and a sponge. they've included a sponge. So we have to wet the sponge and then we have also a detailing kind of brush which is kind of like an eye eyeshadow brush. yeah when i saw it i was like that's like what he used for makeup <laughs> we also get we get these are the full designs we've got about probably 15 of them and we've got mini designs as well where you've got two on one page for smaller items we also get three different models, models. Um, I think this one's like a flower. This is the seahorse, which is the one I think we're gonna be doing. And you've got the butterfly one. So we're pretty excited. I feel like it's possibly going to work. And I think the most important thing to know is whether or not this works. So if we press the button... It's supposed to suction, right? Yeah, let me just make a little more space here. We press the button and... Oh! Oh! That is working! That's good. Interesting. And then we open. All right, that's good. I have goosebumps. I'm excited. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where it goes. So let's prep our first little piece from the seahorse. So the first step we're going to do is cut the white borders out of our design. But of course, we have to remove that film right on top. And then we're going to place our little figure, wrap it with the actual design, wet the sponge, put the figure inside the sponge, and then place it inside. Press the machine for 20 seconds and then wait 10 seconds before opening the machine. For the moment of truth, let's check it out. All right, let us know in the comment section below whether or not you think this will have worked. At this point, I think it's not gonna work. I am not as hopeful. Sika? I don't know, I'm, I don't know. You're so nervous. She's actually shaking her legs right next to me. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, this is as much as a mystery to all of us. I hope you grains wrote down whether or not you're hopeful. Let me know, yes or no. God, just go already. <laughs> What, are you hopeful? Open it. Are you? I'm asking you see. No, 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 gentle. Okay, let us see. And, oh. That is so weird. Oh my god, it kind of worked. Oh. Yeah, it kind of worked because we have a huge separation over here. So I feel like if, if we, we were to cut it. Yeah, if we were to cut over there. I did not expect it to work. Me neither. So the moral of the story. Yeah, definitely cut the shape a little bit more. And if you find edges, try to cut through the edges. Yeah, I think it would work better. Yeah, you wow. want to try another shape? Sure. Okay, let's try one. So we're going to try the same thing, except cut around the edges a lot more with this. What did you call it, Sika? Um, cheetah girl. <laughs> <laughs> cheetah girl design. <laughs> So as you can see, I made splits a little bit of where there would be a curve just to help it out a little more. Oh. Did it work better? I don't know. A little bit. So from what I can tell is that the suction is not strong enough because there's air pockets over here. You see the gap? There's a difference between where the plastic is and where the paper is stopping. So over here, the suction is not strong enough you see, to fill this gap over here. So even though it does wrap nicely around smooth edges, when it comes to things that have crevices, or I like to call them crevasses. crevasses. <laughs> I knew it. You know me too well. It's just not going to go really deep inside. I can't believe you just said that. Stop getting your minds in the gutter. So my biggest worry is that this went from a $25 material to the dollar store for this exact reason. It's just too weak for detail. It was a cool idea though. The idea was was interesting. So Seek and I tested it on other pieces, making sure to cut even more, pushing the paper before putting it into the sponge, before putting it into suction. And as you can see, it does start tearing when you're trying to make this part smoother, but we did get it to be a little bit more form fitting. The biggest issue still is that we think the suction isn't strong enough. And it's not sealed properly either in a sense. So for $26, is this kit worth it? For us, it would go in the trash. <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> However, comma, if you do find it, 
at the dollar store. It could be something interesting to try and modify and work with it, honestly. Because I think I'm going to keep this and see where they failed and how I can make it better. I feel like if I can tighten their seal, it would help a lot for sure. Just putting a little bit of pressure on the seal was helping it stay more uh, vacuum sealed. So if you find it at the dollar store for $4, worth it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say pick it up and try and play around with it just for the heck of it. But at full price, not worth it. This week's shout outs go to Matt the Beautiful, Titty Fit, or oh, it's Tiffy Tit. <laughs> Tiffy Tit. <laughs> Ruth, Xmas Constance, Simmer by Nature, Sasha Poopy Pants, Emma Abernathy, Ali Vera, and Megzalator. Remember, if you want to shout out my videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of videos, videos release. <laughs> or hashtag NerdyCraft on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or TikTok anytime with any of your creations. And if you want to reach Sika, you can find me on Instagram at NerdySister underscore Sika. If you want to watch the previous salty video, check it up here. And if you want to watch something crafty, Check it out down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.